Hello and welcome back to another Migration Talk Time with ATM. To all my subscribers who have been supporting uh, my channel, thank you. It's refreshing to see your support and if you're yet to subscribe, please lend your support by clicking the subscribe button um, and binge the entire videos on this channel and you would gain one or two things that would help you in this Australian migration journey. Also, I would like you to add your comment and like, and the most important one is share with friends and family members, uh, especially the ones living in European countries and are looking to experience something better. This is a good opportunity to be their guide and share this video with them. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the cost associated with this Australian skilled migration process. I'm going to give you a rundown of the amount that you need to get the process started up to the end when you get your visa approved. It's been said multiple times that the Australian skilled migration process does not come cheap. Uh, but I will tell you one thing, it is an experience that will help you get back every cent or every cobalt that you put in into it in a very short space of time. And you would eventually see that it is worth it and you made the right decision. As I mentioned in some of my previous videos, this process will test your determination and your level of greed. Understanding the cost of the process helps you to plan um, the journey and pace yourself. So most of us who are now in Australia did not have all the funds when we started. I for one started um, this journey when I only had funds for assessment. Um, but I didn't even have enough funds for the visa fee. But I knew there was going to be a way if I, when I get the nomination. Fortunately, I got my assessment within five weeks and I got the nomination within three weeks. So I had about 60 days to look for um, the amount then it was cheaper than the current amount now. But it was about 1 million, 1 million Naira as at that time, um, five years ago. I had to start looking for the visa fee, which, which I got around the 51st day. So just a few days before the 60 day deadline. So what I would say is be positive and trust you can do it. Now let's get into the cost of this process. The first financial cost I want to share with you and I want you to be aware of is the settlement fund, popularly known as proof of fund. Um, proof of fund is not a common requirement for Australian skilled migration um, process, especially for visa subclass 189, 190 and 491. But as at the time of this video, only one state out of the eight states and territories in Australia request for proof of fund. Um, the state is Queensland. I've mentioned this in some of the videos that we've done before. Queensland requests that you have some amount in cash and in personal assets in order to get the nomination from them. Um, some other states were doing this until recently when they changed their process and stopped requesting for proof of fund. Um, furthermore, the state of Queensland has broken the settlement fund um, into onshore and offshore. I will post the link in the description for you to um, peruse and I will quickly touch on the offshore applicant, that is people living outside Australia. So for a single applicant who is not in Australia, the total proof of fund required is 30,000 Australian dollars, which is equivalent to about 50 million Naira, based on the current exchange rate. This total figure is broken into 50% cash, that is your bank balance, while the other 50% should be in the form of precious stones like gold or assets like properties owned by you. The proof of fund increases by another 5,000 Australian dollars for every additional family member that you add to your application. So if you are married without kids, it will be $35,000. While coupled with a child will be $40,000 and so on. So to put it out there, Queensland is one of the best places to live in Australia, no doubt. Um, but you can avoid the POF thing um, if, you don't, if you don't have it and apply to the other seven states. Moving on to the next um, cost, which is the English test. As an applicant, you are required to sit for one of the English tests. Um, sometimes this extends to your partner if you need to claim partner points, like you need more points. 
um, the cost is based on your location for anyone writing in Nigeria IELTS or PT exams cost about 85,000 Naira. also budget more money if you need high score and if your partner needs to write as well next is the assessment cost this is the amount paid to the assessing authorities for skills assessment the cheapest that i know of is 495 dollars for accountant while the most expensive is about four thousand dollars for some trade and health occupations you also pay more if you want to do priority processing for the skills assessment some assessing authorities offer this option so you can pay that to get your assessment result faster after you have sorted out your skills assessment and gotten a positive result, the next cost is the state's nomination. Um, to retreat, the EOI, this, which is the expression of interest, is free. But if you get a pre-invite from a state and you decide to accept the pre-invitation, you will be required to pay an amount for nomination. This ranges from 300 to 800 Australian dollars. When you get the nomination, then the huge visa fee comes through and you have 60 days to make payment for the visa so as not to lose the nomination. Um, the visa application charge is about $4,240 um, for a single applicant. If you're married and your spouse is part of your application, your partner, vi your partner visa application charge is half of your fee, which is $2,120 Australian dollars. If you have a child as part of your application, they pay half of your partner fee, which is $1,060. That is the cost for each child. So for every child you have is $1,060. So you can calculate it on your own. The price is a bit different if your partner or your children, if they are not going to be part of your application. Or if you have a child after your visa has been approved and they have to apply for subsequent entrance visa or a partner visa that time they pay a different amount in summary the major costs include english test skills assessment nomination and visa cost although there are some unofficial costs you need to factor into your planning these are costs you don't think you will expend but they are actually quite significant um, some of these costs are um, getting your transcript from your school you may need to travel and send the transcript as well so obtaining the transcript and sending them to Australia if your assessing authority requires them to be sent directly you also need to budget more money if you have multiple qualifications like ND, HND, BSc, MSc, PhD you will spend more money because um, you need to get those transcripts as well this cost will not apply to you if your assessing body allows your university or your teacher institution to email them your transcript or if you can even upload it um, yourself. Aside from that, the next cost is the cost of transportation to write the English test, visit the hospital for medical examination, especially if you are not living in Lagos or Abuja. Another cost is biometrics and cost of trans traveling to the center. In addition to the cost that I've listed above, you also need to budget for traveling cost um, if you need to sit for exams in some countries outside Nigeria, for example, electricians and a few other trade occupations go to South Africa for their practicals, while pharmacists go to Dubai or Ghana um, to write their caps as the exam. So you need to factor that in if that is your occupation. I will not forget police clearance cost or payment for notarization of your documents. In a nutshell, those are the basic costs you need to factor into your planning. And to wrap up, don't be scared of the cost. The process is paced and um, you would usually not pay everything at once. So I will leave you with this. Where there is a will, there is a way. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again.